My hope is, is that we look back on what happened with Trayvon and are able to say that that was the start of America looking inward. That is former President Barack Obama on the Trayvon Martin tragedy. Welcome back. As we mark the 10th anniversary of the shooting death of then unarmed 17 year old Trayvon, his murder was also a turning point in the early start of the Black Lives Matter movement, a moment that affected everyone, particularly black America. terrible and it's sad that this kid had to go so young, but he was like the martyr for change. The contemporary civil rights movement unfolded directly in response to the murder of Trayvon Martin. Black Lives Matter! One of the most important things maybe that came out of this tragedy was the activation of an entire new generation of civil rights leaders. I mean, it's a painful subject. Uh, it's one that it divides us, but we've got to have the strength. We've got to have the courage to, uh, to talk about things racial if we want to make uh, racial progress. We got to see past what's in front of us. We can't give up. As a man, as a father, as a son, it has affected my life and the way I see life in so many different ways. And I pray, I pray that change comes soon. A life gone way too soon, but he's leaving an impact even after his untimely death. Yes, and a very unnecessary death. God bless his mom and family. And before we wrap, we wanna acknowledge someone else who's dealing with tragedy in the most exemplary fashion, the beautiful and wise Lauren London. This week, her words of wisdom went viral and the way she encouraged all of us to keep our heads up no matter what makes her our revolutionary of the week. Check her out. When you have this plan for your life as you should, if or when that gets derailed and you have plan B now to go off that you didn't plan on, it is the ultimate test of surrender. Because at the end of the day, as much control as we think we have, we do not. And it's actually very powerful to surrender. We think that it's a weakness, but it's so much power in letting go and flowing with the river. Because life is gonna do what it's gonna do. And we are all gonna get chin checked by life one way or another. So I might as well focus on my enlightenment and roll with the river and not fight with the rocks. Bless you, Lauren. RIP Nip, the marathon continues. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the Revolt Black News YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap for the latest. Thank you all for joining us. That does it for us. See you next time. Later.